What's going on guys? Uh, so today I want to show you how I ended up using that Kong case. All right, so I mentioned uh, in the Crate Club video that uh, I'd probably end up putting uh, knives in there, maybe battle songs, and you can kind of get a sneak preview there. Uh, yes, that's exactly what I did. I use it for my battle songs, and the biggest reason is because a lot of battle songs are longer. All right, so even though I've had those like, um, you know, booklet style uh, knife cases, which I use for tons of different knives, uh, I just, they were kind of tight in there, you know, and I always wanted something that was a little bit larger. Uh, as far as knife cases go, there's a ton on the market, and um, I have to say that the Kong case itself, it worked fine. However, I hate this pluck foam. I absolutely cannot stand it. In fact, a lot of guys who have uh, hard cases like this for knife collections have those those inserts that are pre-cut. They're like laser cut out, okay? You sometimes see them like two-tone, so it might be like black and neon green or something. But in other words, you're not creating your own spots for those knives. Um, they're just there already. You just buy those inserts, you put them in, or sometimes even it might even come with a case, and you can just stick your knives in there, and it's never gonna like deform or have any issues at all. This pluck foam was a nightmare, all right? Now, in the first video, I had mentioned that my wife took the original case, and she told me, she passed that information on to me, hey, that pluck foam stunk. It was horrible, very hard to deal with. So what I had to do to create this insert, all right, for these different spots is take my knife, you know, cut the edges because what, what it is is with this pluck foam, it's barely cut, okay? So you cannot actually pluck it. The idea was that you can, without any tools, just pull a piece that you want and rip it out, right? But it's just, it's there's so many spots where it was barely cut. So let's say it's supposed to be cut, you know, 80% of the way, it was cut 10% of the way. So I was literally, you know, cutting these spots out completely on my own, all right? So this whole project took probably an hour, um, which doesn't seem like a big deal, but again, it's not supposed to be that way. So there's two layers here, which I showed in the first video, and I had to do the bottom layer and then come back up and do the top layer, all right? So what I was able to do was create um, these slots here, which was two squares wide, all right? If you happen to have the same case or something similar. So two squares wide by whatever it was deep, and I went almost as deep as the bottom just to make sure I had the depth that I needed for these uh, battle songs. All right, so in total, let's see, we have two, four, six, seven, one, two, three, four, um, seven, or excuse me, four rows of seven across, which is 28. So it holds 28 battle songs. Um, this is, I say, you know, it's a ton of my battle songs. It's not the entire collection of high-end battle songs. I have no bench maids in here. Um, but this does have uh, a lot of the other higher end stuff. Um, so I'm, I'm not going to go through each one, but just so you know, BRS, 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 Shrade, uh, Atropos, 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 Spiderco, 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 um, Browse, uh, Microtech, Emerson, Kershaw, Boker, Cold Steel, Cold Steel. Even though these are not high end, I mean, had a place to put them. Um, Baron Sons, Baron Sons, Baron Sons, Cold Steel, which was converted. I will show you that because obviously it's not their Archangel, which I would love to have. And actually, just pulled off the little ring there because this one's a snug fit. All right, so this one was just converted to be able to be flippable, which is super cool. So I popped this back on there. That was just kind of to keep that shut. Um, and then we have um, Bradley, Bradley, Bradley. All right, so the battle song people probably can tell exactly which models just by looking at the uh, the latch end. And by the way, if you notice, all latches, except for the ones that doesn't come in the latch, all latches, except for this one, because this uh, Spider-Co Rainbow Spider-Fly uh, I got used without a latch because someone decided to take it off. I love my latches. I do. I talk about it every time I, I talk about battle songs, practically. So anyway, um, as far as the case itself, the pluck foam, absolutely atrocious. Uh, I just don't like that pluck foam. I'm gonna look into uh, in the future, and you guys can suggest it to me because I know a ton of you have them already. But um, the actual inserts, uh, the inserts that go you know, into various different cases and different sizes and stuff that have already the laser cut slots for knives. They're extremely popular. I've seen a lot of people have them before. I've seen a lot of Instagram posts and stuff, uh, Facebook posts, but I never really just looked into it. Um, I do, again, I like the um, the book style, like the album style, uh, which uh, I think United Cutlery makes. There's a bunch of other companies that make similar ones, and there's copies of them. But they're relatively affordable, and they stack really easy, um, you know, for storage. This case, as I mentioned, this is something that kind of goes back and forth sometimes. 
These particular battle songs I don't keep uh, at my home. I keep these somewhere else. So having a storage case that's, you know, um, easily transported is nice. However, because it's, you know, kind of boxy in its own thing, it's not as convenient as those, um, you know, album style uh, holders. But what I do like about these, again, that these snaps on the side, all right, so it's secure, so it's not going to pull open. You have to pull the lock up, you know, or excuse me, pull down. So you pinch down and then it unlocks. But also you've noticed these little luggage locks, which are nice because these uh, go onto the case very nicely as well. All right, just spin that. And then you're good to go. They're locked up. I can do that on both sides. This way, no one, uh, not that anyone's really looking through it, but I don't know, it makes me feel a little more secure. And yes, these luggage locks can be uh, easily broken or cut off with a bolt cutter or something. But it uh, just makes me feel feel secure. I got these little uh, lockable earrings on my my case here. So yeah, I just want to do a quick video on the uh, the Kong case. I do like it, and it is obviously being used, as is the other one. I do like the handle. I kind of like that it's it's kind of stiff, but that's nice. It's not flopping around, all right? So when you're not actually using the handle, it stays in where it's supposed to be, and it is a nice grip on here. Because this is filled with metal, it's super chunky, and it is heavy. All right, let me put that back down so you can see this. But um, yeah, as far as like, you know, holding this and walking around with it, it, it just makes it more comfortable because if I had to just kind of carry it by both sides, it would be a little bit too heavy. This is packed with stuff. All right, something else I wanted to point out is that these type cases are great for extra fragile things. Um, obviously, these knives aren't fragile inherently. You can drop them. They're not going to break or anything. Nothing's going to happen, especially with the foam in here. Um, but, you know, I'm more concerned with them banging into each other with those other style uh, cases they would be like barely touching each other and again it's not a huge deal and I'm careful when I'm transporting them uh, but I just don't want them bumping into each other and scratching each other you know for no reason so um, although it's not totally necessary you know I, I love my knives and it's just kind of a cool option for storage and for actual transportation so yeah that's what I end up doing with this con case is throwing some some ballast songs in there so that's all I just want to share with you guys Thanks for watching. Let me know how you store your knives. You guys know I have a, a variety of different ways I store my knives. Now I've done videos on the other storage cases that I have. They're great because you could stack them up. You can line them up just like books, you know, on a shelf or in a closet or even if you have your stuff in a safe. You can get a lot more knives in a smaller area that are easily stackable or, you know, something you can line up next to each other like that. When you start putting knives and stuff in cases like this, it just it's unnecessary bulk in general if you're not moving it. If you're transporting it, it is kind of easy and convenient. You can bang these around. Even if you throw this in your trunk of your car or something, it kind of rolls around as you're taking corners hard, if that's how you drive. Uh, you don't really have to worry about them uh, getting messed up or anything. They're completely encapsulated in nice soft foam, so they're never going to touch each other or anything. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Let me know down in the comment section again how you guys store your knives. People love the, uh, the ideas, and uh, I'm always open to new methods as well. So that's all. Hopefully you guys have a great day and I will see you tomorrow with a brand new video. Take care.